Hey guys, welcome back to another Feather Splash video. In today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make this printer. Um, it is inspired by Mumbo Jumbo. Um, as far as I know, there is not a single block by block tutorial like what I'm going to do. And um, I am not going to take total credit for this. Uh, somebody else, uh, like Mumbo, Mumbo made the design, but he didn't uh, show how to make it, so I kind of made my own little thing here and it's on bedrock edition so it will work uh, perfectly fine and you could print images that are nine by six just like this one right here to start off we are going to have nine pistons normal pistons facing upwards just like this one block above the ground so one two three four five six seven eight nine this is going to be the orange circuit and this will be responsible for um, building and assembling the picture. Once you're done that, put some orange wool just like this and place the redstone connecting it all in. That way we'll be able to power all the pistons. Add another redstone here, then go one, two, three, four. So that's five blocks coming out from there. And add four repeaters, one, two, three, four. That'll reach the end. Make sure that they are all on four ticks. So um, click on them three times to make it four ticks. And you should have it just like that. These repeaters are here, so that way these pistons will fire off of the next row of pistons that we will put two blocks and above one. So just like this. We want nine of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we'll assemble it all here, and there'll be it pushed forward into the picture. Fill this uh, row behind these pistons with a block of your choice. I like to use uh, orange wool. Then add two wool coming out like this. Make sh add a observer with the face coming out facing that way. Out the back, put a repeater going into a block with a piston down here, just like that. And then, oh, oh, make sure this is a sticky piston. My bad. Make sure it is a sticky piston. So that way it's able to retract this block right here. Now make it go into another bit of redstone, make it dip, and come back up. Just like so. Next, connect these two circuits up just by just like that. And then coming down from here, place a redstone, break a block in, add a repeater on three ticks, so click it twice. Then get yourself a redstone torch and place it right there. So now what this will do is when this observer detects a block, it will power this and will pull this down so that way it doesn't go into a loop because of these pistons over here. This just makes it so it'll only fire one time. Now coming from this side, we just need to bring this all the way down, just like that. Bring in some redstone, put a repeater. And make sure it just doesn't go over the 15 limit. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're fine. Now, what this will do is if there's a block, it'll push it up. So if you have a line of blocks, which will happen with concrete coming in, it'll detect it, and it'll push up. If you want to make it more efficient, you might want to lower this delay, but it doesn't really matter too much. Next, we are going to get started on the red circuit. All right, so first off, we're gonna put red wool, just like that, and then we're gonna come up one. Now, you gotta be very careful with uh, the circuit because it, we are dealing with water and we don't wanna spill it over all of your redstone. So build a little kinda check mark like this with an additional block, just like that. Now, get yourself a piston, place it right there, and enclose this area off, just like that. Um, patch up this bottom area, just like that. Get a block, come out from underneath here, block, and then two blocks, and get yourself a comparator and some hoppers. Now we're gonna make a hopper loop, so place the two hoppers like that. Make sure the funnels are facing inward, and then if you drop an item in here, but not two, definitely not two. I just messed it up. There we go. And put a comparator. They'll go back and forth. Now you could get rid of these two wool if you want, it doesn't really matter. Now get water and place it here. 
and this should work perfectly. Now when uh, concrete powder will land here, it will actually solidify before going into the hole and get pushed and will start forming the very first line. Now onto the purple circuit. We're going to place a block right there, come two that way, one, two this way, and make a little, a little like six kind of thing, and then place a piston right there, place a torch with a redstone repeater, and then place two redstone just like that. What this will do is if there is a block right here, it will push it and it will fall down into there. Now we are going to do the exact same thing by placing wool up here, one, two, one, one, two, make the exact same pattern, do the exact same redstone torch with the two redstone and the piston, just like that. So now what will happen is it will get pushed, it will fall, get pushed, fall, get turned into concrete and solidify, get pushed over here. Now we are going to do one more of these, one, two, one, two, three, and piston just like that, one, two redstone torch and a redstone repeater there we go perfect that is the purple circuit done on to the lime circuit now this circuit is the exact same as the uh, purple circuit just rotated a bit so we're going to place one two and then to the left one break these two blocks and then make a little square just like that now come out two and you can oh no sorry right there just like that now you can already tell this is going to be kind of like the purple circuit because our piston is going to go here, to redstone, a redstone torch, redstone repeater, and we got our thing. So we'll push down, fall, and we'll keep falling down into the red circuit. Now we are going to build another one, just like this, by placing one, two, one, two, three. You guys probably get the deal now. Make sure you're not using sticky pistons, although it probably wouldn't matter too much. And we're going to do it just like that. Now we want to do this nine times in total or another seven times. So I'll cut back once I'm done. Once you have finished putting in uh, nine pistons just like this, you are going to want to do the same thing but mirrored on this side. And we'll come up a bit, one, two, three, four. So on the same level as this, and we are going to make our little square and then two coming out like that. And we're gonna place the piston here with the torch here, just like that. So that way it'll funnel down into the purple, which will build it all together. So we are going to want eight of these, so one less than this side. It should reach the same height once you're done. Your line circuit should now look just like this, and now if we have any uh, falling or gravity objects, it'll funnel them all into the purple circuit. Now the next part is going to be the blue circuit, and it is probably the most difficult one because it's going to be an item sorter going into comparators and doing all of that stuff. So I'll walk it through nice and slowly. Okay, future pointy penguin here, uh, you're going to want to make these two just one shorter just like that. I made a little mistake, they are only 8 tall on the left and 7 tall on the right, so it should just be one shorter. All right, now that you have finished the lime circuit, we're gonna start off with the blue circuit. So just come up one and back one with your blue wool off of this redstone, and then place one piston right there and break your, break your blocks. Now we want to make this line of pistons 16 for each color. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now, as you could tell this time, they are all centered on the line. Now, we are going to place blocks diagonal down, just like this, all across the pistons, and place torches underneath all of them, which will push them all out, just like that. Next, we are going to come diagonal down again, make a row just like this, and then go down once more. Just like that, so we should have like three lines of blue wool, just like that. Now we want to place, um, what do we want to place? We want to place uh, hoppers coming down into this, just like this. We, want, we should have 16 hoppers going down into the blue wool, just like that. 
And now we are going to replace the blue wool with chests. So that way the hoppers are running into the chest. Just like that. Little tip, if you hit shift and A or spacebar or whatever while you're flying, you'll stay in place while shifting. Um, once you're at the end, add another block. Place it just like that. Perfect. Now we are going to get comparators running into the blocks right here with the torches. Make sure that the comparators aren't leading into the pistons. They should be one jack. Now we're going to place more chests on top of these hoppers by crouching. Just like this. And we are going to place hoppers going into these chests like this from the side. Make sure that the little funnel is facing in their chests just like that. Now we are going to place blocks on top of these chests just like this. There we go and we're going to place another row of poppers going into this blue wool. Now right now we are building a sorting system so that way we can sort out the different blocks and activate the right pistons when you request that block. So you should be looking just like this. Now right here we are going to place a block and place a chest. This is where all the junk items go so hopefully there's no items in here because they should all be colors right there. And now we're going to place a hopper line going into that chest just like this going all the way back. We want to go to here and then add another two. Now make sure that it's all going in this direction. And these hoppers are all facing the pistons, kind of, just like that. Now we are going to make a classic item sorter, so I'll just tell you how, just in case you don't know. But these hoppers going into the first chest, just like that, we want to place three wool, just like that. So, uh, do that for all these hoppers. Once you are done that, place comparators coming out on top, right, just like this. Then place redstone dust all across here. So it should all be connected. Just like that. Now we are going to come down our diagonal one. Just like that. And we are going to bring this all the way back. And we're going to place even more redstone on here. Now we are going to go diagonal back this way. And basically what we want to do is put in a repeater like that. So you'll place one and then a repeater. Just like that. It, it's a little tricky, but it's, yeah, you, you can do it. Uh, just a tip, if you don't want to uh, do this, because I, I, it can be tricky on console, just break this and then place it back once you're done. You probably should have done this before the redstone, but it's okay. Once you are finished that, have it run, all these repeaters go into one block, so make a row just like that. And now place um, redstone torches all along here, and that is your item sorter. Now we are going to have to put in all the items, and then we just have two more circuits and we are almost done. In order to set the item sorter, you are going to need to get a kind of placeholder block, so I like to use bookshelves, but it is probably safe to use a named item. Now grab uh, the con like the concrete powder and like the order that they come in, just like this. So that way um, you don't have. Yeah, you you'll see. So now in this first hopper, it should be white. So just put in a stack of white, and it should go be going down. And just place your placeholders just like that. And if we watch, it should stop at 41. Perfect. Now we just want to do that for all the colors going in order. Once you have finished placing in your last block, so for me it's yellow, you're going to want to go back into the menu, find where what you just put in, so in my case yellow, and then you're going to want to continue on and just make sure you get every color in the right order so that way it's not confusing when you place the blocks. So just keep on doing the whole stack line it up. Now if you check these bottom chests you'll be able to see all of the concrete powder you have put in. This is going to be 
all the, like, you make sure you empty this chest, that way it doesn't fill up and clog the system. Anyway, we are now going to start on the magenta system. To start us off, on top of this hopper, we are going to place a double chest. Then from this hopper, we're going to come out two blocks and place a torch, just like that. So it should be powering the hopper. Now we're going to place another block here, then a piston, and then another two blocks. Place a gravity block, or so like concrete powder on there. Place redstone, a repeater, then another repeater. And then coming down from here, we're going to want to come one, two, one, two, one. To make a little loop, then we're going to place two redstone, three redstone, and place a repeater. Make sure this is on full ticks. Going into redstone, going into another repeater, going into here, and then place a button on the side right here, and then when you press it, it should let a really short pulse down here. Now, in order to test it out, go into this hopper and place white concrete, and now if you hit the button, the first piston should go back and forth, just like that. Now we are on the last circuit, which is the recall circuit, so basically it'll send out a block, it'll come down here, but it will only send out one block, so we want it to keep sending until all of the blocks aren't there anymore. So coming out from this purple circuit, you're going to place a block with the repeater coming out, and basically all we're going to do is just kind of run this all the way up into the magenta circuit, so just keep track of like, make, make sure you're not going over the redstone limit. I'm not going to count this out, because you just got to kind of build a staircase up all the way up here. Then kind of feed it into this middle block right here with a repeater. So just go like this, come down, and hook up, just like that. Now uh, just double check, make sure you're not um, going too, like over 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That, make sure you have these little long areas so you can add in a repeater. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we should be good. And that is your printer done. Now all you gotta do is add the concrete powder onto your kind of ink trays. Just right, like right here. So you're gonna wanna do it in the order of your hoppers. So in this one it's white. So right here should have white concrete powder. Just like that. Oops, I liked and bring it up a bit. You'll want to do a lot more, but basically you'll fill out the colors just like this, and then you make your design in here. So you can do a nice drawing, like build some nice scenery, make a bird or something, make a giant triangle. And then after you got your drawing done, it should be very, very simple to start it up. You're going to want to hit the button once, and nothing should happen. And then, you hit it a second time, and then I'll kick it into action. Make sure you hit it twice. Now I only loaded up white, so it's probably not going to work, but you should see your concrete powder. Come down here, request a new color, and get into here. Now, after a full row is done, I ran out one before, but let's say you get your final white concrete, just like that, and then you'll have it finish the row and then get pushed forward, just like this. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial to the end. Um, if you're here, you're probably you've probably built this. Uh, otherwise, if you just skip to the end shame on you. You should build this. It's super cool, and it's a great learning experience. It's really fun. And you get you get a printer in your world. Like, you can break to your friends. You got a, you got a flipping printer. That's pretty neat. But, um, if, if it helped you out, like the video. If you want a 3D printer, and maybe even a 4D printer, you never know. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and, uh, it could happen. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye!